computer network addressing. So today we will discuss about the addressing of a computer network. But before that, when we talk about addressing, right? So we know that we have, we, when we use a postal service, in that postal service, we need an address. Why we need an address? We need an address to deliver the mail to our home, right? So this is our home and then it will get delivered based on what? based on the address that it has. Similarly, when we talk about computer networks, so when we talk about computer networks, we need an address. And based on this address, a specific data that you are sending from one computer to another computer. So it will able to send from, for example, computer A to computer B, you will able to send this mail to the intended receiver. So this addressing and this addressing you can say the same. So likewise, when we talk about a postal service, so the postal service use recipient name, it use street address, it use city and state with the zip code. So this is what been used by the postal service for the address to deliver this mail to this location. Similarly, in terms of network, computer networks, we will have what? We will have a MAC address, we will have IP address, we will have subnet mask, and we will have default gate. So these are all the addresses that is being used in computer network addressing. So in computer network addressing, divide in two parts. So one is the logical address. The other one is the physical address. So when we talk about logical address, so logical address you can consider as a phone number. Similarly, when we consider this a uh, physical address, you can consider to be a VIN number, which is a vehicle identification number given to each vehicle, right? So the, when we assign a VIN number to a vehicle, it been uniquely identify this vehicle with a specific region. Similarly, a MAC address, which uniquely identify a device, which been assigned to what? It will be assigned to a NIC card. This MAC address is 48 bit. And so when we talk about logical address, logical address corresponds to a phone number in which it been used to identify a device or a person's communication number, right? And it it is basically unique. Your phone number is unique. Your phone number, it be not be assigned to any other user. Similarly, when we talk about IP address, IP address is being used to communicate between devices, whether it is in the same network or whether it is in the different network, it will use to communicate between each other. So when we talk about IP address, internet protocol address divide in two types, which is IPv4 address and an IPv6 address. So when we talk about an IPv4 address, it is 32 bits. It divide in four parts and it can be written like this, 192, 168, 1.1. So it is written in a decimal notation separated by the decimals. Also this IPv4 address, this is what you as a human are able to understand. But when we talk about computer, when we talk about the computer networks, this computer network will able to understand this one as in bits, in binary format. This is a way in which it will able to identify as a binary format in the computer network. Similarly, when we talk about IPv6, IPv6 is 128 bits. It's separate by a colon. And whenever we write this one, we write it in a hexadecimal format. For example, when we, whenever we write an IPv6 address, it will be written with a colon separated like this. So this is being written in this format. So IPv4 address is divided in two types of range. One is public IP, and another, another one is private IP. So what is private IP, what is public IP? So if you think about a hotel, so this is a hotel, let's say 
hotel ABC. And this one, another hotel that is XYZ. So this hotel, so this hotel will have a room number 101, 102, 103, 104. Similarly, this hotel will also have the same room numbers possible. Now from 101, if I want to communicate to 104, I will be able to communicate within the same hotel. Similarly, from 101, if I want to communicate to 104 or 103, I can able to communicate. So from 101, from XYZ hotel to ABC hotel, if I want to communicate, is it possible? It is not possible. So it is only possible if the 101 will dial a phone number of ABC and using the extension of 101, it can able to reach. Considering the same ABC, can be considered in the network world as a LAN. That LAN will have multiple computers connected to a switch. And from a private IP range, if I give 192.168.1.2, 1 192.168.1.3, .4, if I assign, and then from A to B, if they want to communicate, they will be able to communicate similar to Hotel ABC. But you are in your office, let's say you are in office one, working in office one, and then you are wants to communicate with a different LAN network in office two, which will have the same IP address, 1, 168.1.2. Do you think that you're able to communicate with this? No, we cannot communicate, right? So private IP is specific always specific to a LAN network. So you can see that LAN network or Office 2 is using the same IP address. So LAN of Office 1 is using the same IP address. Similarly, in hotels also, we will have, we'll use the same room numbers. In order to communicate between the hotels, what we are using, we are using a phone number, which is identified. This hotel will have a different phone number, unique phone number. This hotel will have a unique phone number and dialing with an extension to room number one from, from XYZ hotel, I can reach to this. Similarly, when Office 2 wants to communicate with Office 1, they will able to communicate. Office 2 wants to communicate with Office 1. They will able to communicate through via the internet with a public IP. Similarly, this phone number corresponds to the public IP, which will be a routable in the telephone network and unique to each of the individuals. This room number is a private, which can able to communicate within the network, within the same hotel, within the same LAN. In order to communicate from room number one of ABC to room number one or one from XYZ, we need a public IP address like a phone number. Similar office, office two LAN wants to communicate with this office one LAN network of this computer, we need a private IP address, which will able to route it through the public IP. And if you want to route it through to the internet also, if you want, if this user wants to open google.com, what will happen? The google.com is there in your internet. There is a server is there in the, in the internet. So you will able to communicate only if you will have a public IP address map to your router which will able to communicate to the internet. So how we represent an IP address. So when we talk about phone numbers, right? So phone numbers are being represented in digits. For example, 9171 So this is a phone number which represents by a digit. Similarly, when we talk about IP address, IP address is being represented by bits. So bits are basically units your computer understand. So when we talk about bits, bits are basically one or zero. So this is what called as binary digits. So binary digits, whenever your computer talks in computer networks, so basically they will understand this binary digit. So for example, when we talk about a phone number, phone number will have a specific number of digits. For example, 10 digits. 10 digit phone numbers, mobile numbers. Similarly, when we talk about IP address, IP address is 32 bits. And those 32 bits is being divided in what? Four parts. As your phone number is what? Uniquely assigned to 
a particular user. Similarly, an IP address will be uniquely assigned to a particular device so that the communication will be possible. So as IP address is what, 32 bits? So that is basically two to the power of 32 is what total number of IP address are is four billion IP address. So we discussed that an IP address, IPv4 address is 32 bits. So how that will be represented? So already we know that it is being divided in what four parts. And this 32 bit, if we divide that in four parts, that is mean what eight bits to each part. So we can represent this one as, so an IP address is being represent like this. So these where X can be zero or one. So this is what we call as a binary notation. So binary notation, each, if you see that each value is what? Eight bits. So if you count, it is eight, 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 eight. So in total, it will be 32. So eight bits each, and it will divide in what? It divide in four parts of it. So this is what your binary notation, what your computer or your, in your computer networks, the devices will able to understand. But when we able to see this as a human perspective to make the ease of human so what is there we will have something called as decimal notation so this can be written as 192 168 1.10 so this representation is called as decimal notation for whom for humans this is for a binary notation this is for computers so for example Let's take an IP address and then convert that to uh, the decimal notation and binary notation. So if you go to your command CM, if you type CMD and then if you write IP config. So once you type IP config, you will get this output, which is your wireless LAN adapter and you will have something called as IP address. So my IP address is what? 192.168.29.242, which is a private IP range. So this is my IP address. Based on this IP address, 192.168.29.242, which is a IP address assigned in a private IP range because I am in my LAN network. So this IP is what? A decimal notation. So this has been easier for a human to read it, read the IP address. But if you think about a computer, so as we know that our IP address is being divided in what? Four parts. One, two, three, four, right? So based on this, we need to what? We need to convert this in a binary notation. So that if I convert this in binary notation, this is the first one. This will be second one. This one will be third. This will be the third one. And this one will be my fourth octet. So this each of this number that I convert into what a binary notation. So I convert this in a binary notation, which my computer will understand. Decimal notation. This is for us. We will able to understand. So if you see here each octet, so this is what called as an octet. Four octets will be there. So each octet will have eight bits, right? Each octet will have eight bits. So for a computer, when it process the IP address, it will be look like this dot, dot, dot. So this is a IP address, which the computer understand. This is the IP address, private IP range, which as a decimal notation, we understand. So how I will calculate these values. So generally each, each will have, each will have eight bits. So we know that we have eight bits in an octet so four four eight so this is my first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eight eight bits in total and each bit will be calculated based on two to the power of seven into multiply two to the power of seven multiply with one or zero if this bit turn on this is been one if bit, this bit will be turned off, this will be zero. Similarly, this one 
will be 2 to the power of 6, 1 or 0. 2 to the power of 5, multiply of 1 or 0. 2 to the power of 4, multiply 1 or 0. 2 to the power of 3, multiply 1 or 0. 2 to the power of 2, multiply 1 or 0. 2 to the power of 1, multiply 1 or 0. And 2 to the power of 0, multiply 1 or 0. So this is my calculation. So what is the what is 2 to the power of 7? So 2 to the power of 7 is 128. 2 to the power of 6 is 64. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. 2 to the power of 0 is 1. So if all my bits are turned on, right, then I will have all these values. This, 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 everything will be turned on. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 7, 2 to the power of 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So this gives us 255. So when I calculate this, so it will give us a range of 0 to 255. So all the octets will give us, gives us a range of 0 to 255. And now when I convert this 192 in binary, so what I need, I need 192 value. So 192 value will come from where? 128 plus 64 will give us 192. So 128 plus 64 gives us 192 turning on my first and second bit. Similarly, when I do it for 168, first bit, third bit, fifth bit will be turned on. So 128 plus 32 plus 8, which is giving, gives us 168. Now, if I do for the third octet, so fourth, third, second, and zero. Fourth, third, second and zero which is 16 plus 8 is 24 plus 4 is 28 plus 1 is 29 so as a result i have 29 turning this bit on similarly for 242 128 plus 64 is 192 plus 32 is plus 16 plus 2 which is 242 so first four bits on first second third, fourth. 128 plus, one six, plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 is 240 plus 2 is 242.